Hey everybody, John here with another episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door on the last episode. We got into chapter four and look at this. We will be heading shortly to Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, this is Twilight Town, not Halloween Town. No, this is not Twilight Town from Kingdom Hearts. This is a different place. This is Twilight Town from the Mario series. It's been a long time since anyone's come from the outside. You've come from far away. <laughs> yep. Yeah, those clothes of yours, I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? Adventure! Whoa, 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 creepy. What the heck do you mean, a bad time? Oh, gee whiz, I don't know. That's a scary tale to hear, and a scary tale to tell. And scary to tell. Meh. Already, I don't know, like. A minute in the video and I can't speak right. <gasps> oh no! What happened? Oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh badness. Now Fred Freddy? Wait. He used the Shadu? Ah, <laughs> anyone that's seen our uh, Brawl multiplayer subspace emissary video must know that reference. Anyways. Yes, we're adventurers. Huff, I say. Puff, I say! Puff, I say! Oh man, this town is so eerie and dark. Of red and black. It reminds me of the Virtual Boy! I'm kidding. <laughs> My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. What? As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is, is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building. The creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there. It curse or, or its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. <gasps> Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen. Which would be bad. <laughs> okay. Well, it wouldn't be bad. Some guy could discover this place and, you know, create hamburgers and bacon and whatnot. Have you heard of a crystal star? A star-shaped rock that's all glittery? Oh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in the creepy steeple, there's a glittery... Literary red stone shaped like a star. For real? That totally must be the crystal star. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to the creepy steeple, are you? Brrr, unthinkable. I'm so cold. He's so cold. He's so cold. Any quest? Let's just keep going. We're going to the creepy steeple. Three groups of pigs. Well, I don't like talking to those toad people at all. No like. I can't let you pass without the mayor's permission. Sorry, I don't make the rules. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious, that's what somebody said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Ha! We've heard that one before. Nasty monster, please. Well, whatever, gay guy. Let's go ask Mario. Okay. Well, the last time somebody said, or the last time somebody protected the gu that, a gate, it was at that Petalburg, you know, in the Hohen region. Wow, that joke has been overused. <laughs> and yeah, we destroyed that monster. I mean, how bad could this guy be? I mean, seriously. Alright, so let's go in here, and... <gasps> no! Hey, don't you think this pig is the mayor, do you? What do you think? What do we do now? We can't get in. Oh my goodness. Well, tons of conflict. Tons of conflict. So many secondary conflicts. It is killing me. Anyways, let's keep going. Wow, oh, those birdies. They look really cool. What? The mayor is a pig? Oh no! What do we do? Govern ourselves? Well, there's just no way I can let you through now. It's martial law time. Just forget about it. Okay. Huh. What do I do now? Maybe if I just go in here or something. Billy, no! Oh, customer, Sniff. I'm sorry, we're not open right now, Sniff. Oh? 
Huh? Why am I crying? Sniff, my husband's been turned into a pig. Oh, okay, I'm going to try and read this. She talks so fast. Alright. A pig. My husband went into the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig! We got into a fight before he left, and I had called him a chauvinist pig. I gotta look up that word. Anyways, and now he really is a pig sniff, but he has a sweet side too. By cooking pear food on his birthday, and when the shoppers are rude, the husband explodes, you know, he's just got so many things, you know. I wish I could defend through with you, you know. And I can really wear underwear, you know. He drinks, you know. He changes a while, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it turns into a pig, yeah. Um, so, uh, are you even listening? Yeah, 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 yeah. Underwear, yeah. That's all I read. Oh. Wait. Oh, oh yeah, so what she's trying to say is, uh, uh, if we get the husband's key, then we can go into the storeroom and take whatever we want. And we really need that right now, because we only have, like, three items. <gasps> he turned into a pig truck! Yeah, let's go! Woo! We're going on a mission, we're going on a quest, an adventure. And we already got a black key, wow, isn't that great? Alright, so if we go over here... That's right, guys, we got new enemies! A new variety of Goomba! Buy it! Buy it! Buy it today! Are you kidding me? Ugh. I wish I had a certain party member so that I can get that item in the back over there. But right now, I just want to destroy it! Four, five, six. Is it dead? Oh, shoot! No! No, 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 no! I don't even know how much HP because I didn't tattle yet! No! Oh my goodness, what's going on? Well, this doesn't look good, doesn't it? Without my tattle ability, I don't even know what he's doing right now! Oh no! Well, I got one down. Alright, let's tattle this. Goomba, what are they doing? And please don't tell me it's gonna hurt really hard. It's a hyper Goomba, which means, uh, it's a hyperactive Goomba, duh. I don't see how it's hyper. I mean, all it is is just the shade of green. Uh, max HP is 8, attack is 2, and defense is 0. But if it goes nuts, then Vizow! And charges up, whose attack power will be 8 next. 8. 8. 8! Okay, okay, I can deal with this. Ah! I saw! I saw what you were trying to do there, Goomba. You see, my Goomba does 6 damage. Constantly. You only do 8 damage when you power up. Oh man, that would have been scary if that hit me, huh? Alright, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Just keep going. There's nothing in these blocks anyways. Ooh, an item! Fire! Never mind, I stand corrected. Come here! Alright. No items, good. I can just beat them down. Alright. So these things all have 8 HP, right? So... Let's tattle the Paragoomba! That's a Hyper Paragoomba. It's basically a Hyper Goomba with wings. Well, yeah, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. And we are going to get destroyed. Oh, no! There's actually one that didn't want to. He wanted to spare us. <laughs> He's a kind guy. What if, like, every type of... Like, every Goomba... Every Goomba citizen had a Hyper side. So, there would be a Hyper Goombella, a Hyper Goombario, oh man, a Hyper Professor Fangly. Oh, that would have been pretty weird and pretty ironic. Like, it's just like looking at yourself in the mirror, thinking that there's a second dimension or something. Anyways, let's defeat this last Goomba, and let's be on our way right now. Oh boy, so we had a Hyper Goomba, a Hyper Para Goomba, and now we're gonna have the third member of the Goomba family. And wow, I missed. Doe, I missed. Yep. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I actually got the stylish timing right. Anyways, let's go see what these guys are. That's a hyper spiky Goomba. It's a hyper Goomba with a spike on its head. Yeah, that really sucks. You know what else sucks? That also sucks. That also really sucks! Dang it, Goomba! <laughs> ah, man. Well, this looks bad. 
Can I even survive all of this? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. <laughs> I got the one with the ice storm! Yee Aha! Take that, Goombas, and your tactics. Uh, I kept- that was actually pretty lucky. I'm not going to lie. That was really lucky. Nice! Alright, good. We're going to live this time, guys. That's actually pretty scary. Alright, nice, nice, nice. We got rid of all the hyper spiky Goombas. Alright, let's just keep going. Oh man, what a creepy area, huh? Nothing in this tree, and then this tree, and thing in this block. It's a coin block! Alright, so let's get out Goombella again in case we run into new enemies. Here's through this way. It's a pig! Broink! Alright, over there. Yep, it's the key! So let's go get it! Woo! Story progression. Alright, so there's not any new enemies up ahead. I lied. No me. I don't like lying. Let's just keep going forward. Huh, okay, so let's finally get back the key. Or whatever. You know what? I'm using it myself, lady. You know? You know? You know? I think, like, I've been saying the words, you know. And, wow! Look at all these items! A foo sheet, a Janet jelly, a life shroom. What else could be in here? Look, look at this! A defense plus! Wow! Great stuff we found in there. And not only that, we got another box. There's no way people could be here. Seriously. That's just so unlikely. Wait, what's a black chest? doing inside the back of a storage room? I mean, seriously! How, how did she even find this thing? Did she just, like, happen to build around this chest? Yeah, this guy isn't gonna curse us. I mean, remember the last two times? <laughs> Pretty pleased with a heart. That means this thing must be female! I suspect women! <laughs> I'm kidding. Wee Fools! <laughs> What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would- Yes, man! Why did you have to, like, destroy all of my expectations? I had great expectations about you, man! Come on! You even put a heart at the end, and only females in this game do that! Alright, so, R and then repeatedly... Oh, no! I'm a paper tube! Oh, no! This is probably the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Now my self-esteem goes down. Yes, I understand. Uh, press B to return to normal. Don't forget mush brain. <laughs> mush brain. I thought you were female. What's his beef? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, I got everything that I needed. Thanks, lady. Hmm. Okay, so let's test out our new curse. Oh, oh this is so horrible. Really? Really? That interrupted me of my rolling? Ugh. That's dumb. Whee! I'm a paper tube. Is this faster than walking? I hope it is. Really? Really? What? 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 <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know anymore. What did I just do? Well, according to what happened in my point of view, it seems to me that I jumped on him in paper tube form. I don't know how that works. Power off! Goomba smash! Alright, bye Goomba. Alright, so... 
to avoid that happening, I guess what I'm going to do is, oh, you know, transform back and instead ride on Pew because there's more control and all. Yep. Oh. Oh. Well, I would have cut the video. The only reason I didn't cut that video is because it kind of amused me. <laughs> Alright, so, weakening now. Oh. I almost missed that. We could now go under small, tight areas, and wow, look at this tree, it looks kinda... It looks kinda shady. You know, let's just get rid of it, it doesn't belong in this world. Anything behind it? Yeah, there's a star piece behind the pipe. I would've never guessed, cause like, it's so concealed. That one was well hidden. Alright, so now we're inside the forest. We're about to find the wizard! Oh, oh, what's that? Alright guys, we got an introduction to a returning enemy from the past game. This is a... Oh, that has a Bushi. Oh. You know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna tattle it. That's a crazy daisy, it may look totally cute, but it has a serious... But it's a serious foe. XHP is 7, attack is 2, and defense is 0. What you gotta worry about is his lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. If you manage to guard well, though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. Oh, and when its HP runs low, it runs away, so try to KO it in one fail swoop. Alright, I shall do that. Bye, Daisy! Not Princess Daisy from, you know, various Mario games, but... Boo Sheets. Oh! Thank you! I can still hit you, hee <laughs> hee hee. Alright, uh, let's, let's get rid of this, this guy, this guy, real threat. You see, I have a Bushi too, TV. Uh, la 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 la. Switch to Q. He's tanky. Hee <laughs> hee Alright. Alright. Alright, 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 let's KO this guy. I believe there's a couple more enemies in this area that are new. Oh, I can't do this. Woo! Oh, and I got the stylish, too. Wow, I'm curious to see how that ended up in the recording. Oh my goodness. Uh, because I had, like, my controller right next to the... Right next to my... Mike. <laughs> oh well. It, it must sound interesting though. Alright, so let's go over here and get this item. It is an earthquake! It's a move that has 10 PP and used by most ground Pokemon! I'm kidding. Anyways, uh, let me sneak past this. That's it. <gasps> Cut the video! Alright, hey guys, welcome back, and you know, I actually kinda had to use a, a special move right there. To actually finish them off. Yeah, it was kind of embarrassing. Anyways, let's get this hammer throw. This item is going to serve purpose later as we progress, but wow, another crazy daisy. Oh, okay. Watch as the- OH, IT'S STILL CHASING ME! Man, what commitment. Watch as the Mario sneaks PAST THE DAISY! Got the video. Actually, no, there's a new enemy right there, so let me go and explain what that is. Shall I? Oh, uh, no, 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 Alright, let's, uh, go. That's a hyper clap. It's basically a clap that uses charged up moves. XP is 4, attack is 3, and defense is 3. When it charges up, its attack power rises to 9. Well, I don't agree to that, so let's... Huh. You know what, let's just run away. Screw it. I don't want to fight. I don't feel like it. Bye! <laughs> See ya, nerd. Well, we can't get past here, right? Wrong! We just blow it off. Fake. <laughs> Alright, I know that there's a heal block somewhere. I really need it right now. I am failing at this game. Alright. Is there any enemies here? I thought there was. Uh, so I do, I do need to blow this off as well? Eh. Alright. Let's just go. Just go. 
Oh, oh, rock power! I can move rocks! Alright, so let's go over here, jump around. Enemy. And right behind there, what you saw was a shine sprite. Yeah, actually, uh, my first run through of this game, I had no idea where that last shine sprite was. Apparently, it was this one, the one behind the tree. Yeah, that wasn't fun. It took me, like, forever as a kid. I searched everywhere, and I would have never guessed it to be over there. I just wasn't as observant, I guess. Well. What are we gonna do? First off, we're gonna unlock this thing. And second off, we're gonna find this invisible block, which serves no purpose. And we're going to find a star piece. And I think I'm going to end the video right here, guys. Thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Expect another episode soon. And thanks for watching, guys. See you later.